Hello, my darlings. It's ALB in Whisperland here. In today's video, we are going to have a lot of fun and a nice relaxing time opening some booster packs from the Pokemon trading card game. Sword and Shield Evolving Skies Expansion. This set just came out. I had it pre-ordered. I was really excited to get it. A lot of the times with these sets, I don't necessarily know what any of the cards are going to look like. I just love the art so, so, so much. So that's part of the fun of it for me. But in this particular series, I do know what some of the rare or, I guess, chase cards look like. So, there, there are some that I'm like, crossing my little fingers like, oh, I would really like to get them. Because there's some real cuties in this set, I have to say. Now, I haven't really seen, um, really much of anything of the commons, so that will be a complete surprise. Look, I've got an Umbreon on the box here, I think there was a Rayquaza on the front, and a Sylveon in here too. So, so, so cute. just have my little nail scissors here, my little <laughs> tweezer. You guys know how it, this is how I do it. I like to use tiny scissors for these booster pack openings because it just makes it a little less um, loud for the sake of the ASMR video. So many packs. I'm really excited to open these. I'm gonna take a bunch out. What should we do? Left or right side? They're stacked so neatly and perfectly in here. Yeah, we've got a Rayquaza here. The Umbreon. This is a really great um, set if you are a big Eeveelution fan, and I know some of you are really into the Eeveelutions. Um, there's some really, really great cards for Eeveelution fans in Evolving Skies, especially some of the really rare ones. Like there are some good, good ones that I've seen. For myself personally, my favorite evolution is Vaporeon. Um, when I was in the fourth grade, my mom made me a Vaporeon costume for Halloween because I loved Vaporeon so much. So I'm hoping to get a Vaporeon today. open these up. I'm going to put them right over here. And I am so excited to get going. I think to start with, we will do an Umbreon pack first because we love, we love Umbreon so much. I don't really necessarily have like my hopes up for this in terms of getting ultra rares, but like, it could happen. You don't know, right? Sometimes I forget to take these out. So, I've been watching a lot of, um, 
unpacking Pokemon cards lately videos. So I'm gonna try the trick. One, two, three, four. Put those to the front. Starting off with psychic energy. Ooh, brave braviary. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. Braviary is actually my best friend in Pokemon Go right now. Um, so that's kind of cool to see to start out. We have switching cups. Switch a card from your hand with the top card from your deck. That's an interesting. Tentacruel. Oh, this Mareep is so cute. I love the art on that. That's really sweet. Wobbuffet. <laughs> Look at the little, the little face on the tail. It's so cute. Oh, that's a really cute love disc. I love all the, like, flowers and so on around in the water. We've got a Dwebble. A Hippopotamus. Not my favorite Pokemon, but it's cute art. And we have a Reverse Holo, Smeargle. This is another friend from Pokemon Go. I always think of him as my little friend. And we have an Appleton. Appleton is a very strange Pokemon. I really prefer the pre evolution the kind of respect that he looks like a little baked bun, you know? He's got that little... He looks like he's from a little bakery in kind of a scary, fun way. Interesting pulls here, but this reverse solo here. We're not off to, like, the greatest start in the world, but I have... I have faith. I have faith and trust in the heart of the cards. Maybe we'll have a little with this pack. Hopefully. <laughs> Please use your ribbon magic to give us good pulls today. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have um, special Pokemon themed Come on, little cards. I know there's another one in there. There we go. Oh, there's another one at the bottom. I can't pull them all out today too well. <laughs> we'll save the online card because I've been actually playing the online game now. One, two, three, four. Put those at the bottom there. We've got the single strike scroll of the fanged dragon. So I didn't mention it before, but um a big theme of evolving skies is dragon type. We've got an Ursa Ring here. We've got oh that swoobat, that's really cute art actually. We've got a drowsy. I don't really like drowsy so much, even though actually like Drowsy is a very ASMR Pokemon when you think about it, but Drowsy's not my favorite. Oh, a little scraggy, so cute. We've got a bag on. I love the art for this. That's really sweet. Oh, our first Yukamori card. This is a Wubat, which is already like a very Got a little sneak peek of something at the back, and you may have as well. Okay, and stay on focus. This is uh, a little Wubat, which is a cute Pokemon anyway, but Yukamori. If you haven't watched my previous Pokemon card um, pack openings, Yukamori is a really cool artist for the Pokemon TCG art because she sculpts these Pokemon and then photographs them. So it's like a really 
really impressive skill. I love Yukamori cards. Um, also, Yukamori cards are very popular with collectors. Uh, Pokemon card fans are always excited to see Yukamori's art. And there are many other artists within the Pokemon TCG universe that are like pretty prolific and very beloved. So Yukamori is a the little bat in our favorites because that's a really cute card. Temple. We've got a toy catcher. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I think this is a hyper rare. Oh, a reverse hollow salamence. That 
that's really cool. I've never seen that card before at all. That's really nice. And wow, another amazing ball. Oh my this and I'm taking in how sparkly it is, how beautiful it is. Wow, wow, wow. The way that shines in the light. So its attacks are boom burst and synchro loud. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack does 120 more only done three packs and this reverse hollow salamence is actually really cool too i'm really excited about that one i'm kind of floored right now you guys i was not expecting such great balls so early in it's like kind of making me nervous now like if we pulled all the good stuff so early I'm excited. I swear one of these times I'll be able to just slide the cards out beautifully the first time. I know you're in there. There it is. Save that for later. some cuties in this one for sure. Definitely the last one was a little bit better, but they can't all be winners, I suppose. I don't know why. Usually I put the favorite cards up here, but like I kind of want to display my little, my little victories here. I don't know. Shall we do another one? We'll do an embryo. Hopefully we'll get a little better luck with this one. I have to tell you guys something, which is that uh, recently the Pokemon website restocked their um, Lapras blow-up like pool toys. I really think 
vortex or frozen awakening and heavy snow. I am so excited that we got a fantastic evolution card. I love Glaceon. You guys know I'm I'm a winter girl, so that is what a great She's beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous. Look at these. We, we've really done well. We we're doing really well so far. I can't believe it. Wow. I was not expecting such great, great balls. I, I'm like trying to keep it together, honestly, because of that Glaceon. So, I'm going to tell you guys what my like, I don't want to say goal cards, because I never really have goals. I have my favorite cards that have come in Evolving Skies, which is, there are like some hyper rares in the Evolutions line. There's like a Vaporeon that's like chilling in a little tide pool, which is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. There's like a Sylveon that's in, the, in a bakery. There's like just, there's so many really, really beautiful, um, like hyper rares in this set and um, I'm trying not to get my hopes up because the likelihood of actually getting one of those cards is really really slim. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. But like the fact that we've gotten these ones, I don't know. It's it's kind of a water energy to start us off. An SQ again. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of this cute little face. A full face card. If the Pokemon this card is attached to has no abilities, it takes 20 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Hmm, that's interesting. That could come in handy. We've got a Hypno. You are not my favorite Pokemon Hypno, but very nice art. We've got a Carvana. You know, despite being um, a mainly water type, I, I, ice and water type collector, I don't really like Carvana that much. That's just me though. We've got a super cute little Marie Pierre. Oh my gosh, drowsy. It's because I said I didn't love you. Now I'm going to get tons of drowsies just you. Another scraggy cutie. Ooh, look at this. Reverse hollow. Cynia's resolve. Cynia is a really, really cool character. This says you can play this card only if you discard two other cards from your hand. Draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Okay. Interesting. Whoa. holographic Eldegoss, which evolves from Gossifler. This has like a little, not misprinting, but look at the edge on this card. Can you see? It has like a little card cut, like it kind of got cut wrong at the factory. I think that makes it a little bit more special, don't you think? <laughs> doesn't doesn't bother me one bit interesting when there's little factory errors like that. Look at that. But nonetheless, this card, yeah, look at the little corner bits. That's fine. I'm not like one of the types of collectors who like cares that much. Look, I'm just here for the beautiful art and the fun of it. And so that's fine for me. That Eldegoss is so cute. Eldegoss, you come sit right over here. Alright. Honestly, I'm also pretty excited about this Zinnia's Resolve. We are, like, very quickly running out of room. I wasn't even planning on putting cards in this space. Like, when I laid this out, this kind of little, like, flat lay, 
I just figured, you know, it's good to have a little open space right here. We can do our unboxing, but like, it's kind of nice to have them displayed as well. Code card. So as of right now, I'm filming this video, there have been some leaked rumors that they are either um, updating the online TCG game or that they are changing it. I'm not sure by the time you see this, like, if it will have changed, but I'm curious to see what actually happens. So we've got a herdier here. Oh, by Roar. By Roar is an interesting Pokemon. I don't love it and I don't hate it. It's just kind of, I feel neutral about By Roar. Oh, we've got a Dream Ball. Search your deck for a Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, but you can only play this card if you took it as a face down prize card before you put it in Darien. Oh, okay. Difficult that in, in the proper way, I think. Rock and roll up. We've got a side duck. Oh, the Swablu art. This is really cute. Swablu art. Move these cuties over a little bit. Hold on, this is gonna bother me. I need them to be perfect. <laughs> okay, much better. The Swablu art. Going into my cuties file. And then we've got a C dot, another Yukamori Woobat. Oh, we've got a reverse hollow hopip. Hopip is hopip is a pretty basic card, but it's a cutie nonetheless. And a wishy washy. I loved the episode in the anime with the wishy washy. I thought it was Alrighty, let's open this Sylveon pack. I'm hoping we have good luck with Sylveon because it's a Pokemon whose color scheme I often find myself inadvertently emulating. It's a very good
Yes. Wow, wow, wow. All right, my friends, I don't know how we're doing this. I don't know what it is about this box of cards, but like, we are. So its ability um, is once during your turn you may discard your hand and draw three cards. Oh, that's that's a good ability because you're going to keep pulling stuff, pulling new cards into your hands. So the only thing about this card is we're actually playing, and I don't know if I would actually play it because it's so gosh darn beautiful. I would need the Rayquaza V card to play this because it's a V Max like a card. This is like, this is gorgeous. Like the way that this shimmers is out of this world. This is special. This is, <laughs> this is very special. Do you guys remember? Um, but like when I was like opening some of my first packs of cards, when I didn't play the game yet, and I pulled that like hyper rare Celebi and I was just like oh this seems very special and I like didn't know why now now I know what is special and this is a special card <laughs> I know that now well honestly I'm like resigned that even if we didn't pull anything good from now on I'd be really happy that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Put the code card over there. One, two, three, four. Actually doing this reminds me that I need to um, order some more sleeves. Some like just clear ones for my binder because I like to sleeve them before putting them into my binder like my really special cards well we've got a Vigoroth looking very aggressive here <laughs> he's like really mad oh, don't be mad Vigoroth we've got a Lombre this is really cute art I love that art a scroll of the flying dragon I gotta like sit trainer cards to see if they're useful to me. A Feebas, a Hitmonchan, we've got another Slack Up, oh, a Penelil, that's really cute, that's really cute art. We've got another Pikachu, see, like, I'm glad when we get doubles of ones like Pikachu, because I can get them to my friends. We've got, more of a Reverse Hollow Land. Age Rupius. This is like a this is like a pretty good card actually. It's not that beautiful, but it seems like it's very strong. This lantern will go right here with our little reverse hollows. And let us open another pack, shall we? I'm going to actually
Donkey. Or the ASMR counting value. It's that's I need to count things out loud. All right, we've got ourselves a fire energy to start out. We've got a fletchinder. This is good. I think we have this entire evolution line now, actually, because we have the fletching. We have the one. What is the one that comes after that? I'm pretty sure we got it. We got a shopping center. We've got a non-hollow lantern. We've got a nicket with its little tail wrap. Been thinking about making a dark deck. So that would be a good addition. This is really cool. This is a bergmite. And it kind of looks like a little, um, like a little, what do you call that? An iceberg. The icebergs always make me think of Newfoundland because Newfoundland gets some pretty glorious icebergs to look at. We've got a Carvana. Oh, wow. I love this Emolga. This Emolga is such, such cute art. Look, it's like flying over a cityscape. We've got this like little, almost, almost kind of gothic cathedral building underneath. Molga, you are going right into my cutie pile. Absolutely you are. You go sit right there. We've got a slack off snow leaf badge. If the Pokemon V this card is attached to as Leafeon or Glaceon in its name, it has a no retreat cost and no weakness. Hey, see the V card and I'm like, ooh, is it, is it the one I'm hoping for? Is it, is it the girl of my dreams? <laughs> but like, this is, we've got six really special pulls so far. So that's pretty good for me. You know, I would really like actually to get, um, the Rayquaza V If I wanted to. <laughs> it's interesting, like with the dragon cards, like I don't really have that many, so I don't really know if I would really even have enough to put a whole deck together if I wanted to, you know? But maybe after this, I might have enough. One, two, three, four. We've got a Fighting type energy. Another Fletchinder. Fletchinder is a cutie. It kind of like, you know, there's a lot of um, triple evolution lines that are like normal type birds. And to me, it always seems like it's kind of a match to the original Pidgey line. We've got a treasure energy. If you took the 
this card as a face down prize card during your turn before you put it into your hand you may attach this card to one of your pokemon oh that's cool that would that's another card where it's like a little tricky to play that you're kind of hoping and praying another gorgeous little pumpkaboo i love that roughly card i'm sorry but that's not a hollow card, but I love Altaria. I'm excited about this Altaria. I always forget that Altaria is considered a dragon type. Because in my head, she's like a bird, but a dragon type. This is like, I, I think this art is really cute. I like that one a lot. I don't know why, but I've been putting all the hollows right here. They just look nice there, but I am kind of starting to run out of room for them, so we'll just shuffle them a little bit. Things are a bit akimbo here, but we're making two, we're making two. We are like halfway through that little stack. I can't believe it. I'm still holding out hope. explained why I was doing the four to the front roll. Um, a lot of other Pokemon booster pack opening YouTubers, or just, I guess just Pokemon YouTubers, are serving right there in a crystal. Um, they showed how to do that, and I love that they do that because it makes it so that your rarest cards of your all pull are at the back. So that's just the order that they with a 
grass type energy. We've got another set of digging gloves.
is a Leafeon VMAX card. Um, it is stunning. It is beautiful. There are like little twists and turns in the foil. Um, show-stopping, gorgeous, unique, beautiful, never been done before. Just Attacks are grass knot. Um, this attack does 60 damage for each, um, oh, each star in your opponent's active retreat cost, so this would be better to do against another VMAX card, probably, depending. Some cards have really high retreat cost. And Max Leaf. Wow. In addition to doing 170 damage, heal 30 damage. So every time you do that attack, you're also healing 30 damage. Wow. I just think they are so beautiful, and I love them so much, and I'm so happy and grateful. <laughs> and I cried, and I was in the bath. Um, this is, this is, wow. This box... I don't know what's going on. I, I really, I don't know. I don't think I've ever gotten so lucky with a, I'm like struggling with my words right now. I don't think I've ever gotten so lucky with a booster box. We are not I get my cards from a local place because I, you know, whenever possible, we gotta try to support local businesses, right? So I get my cards from a local place, and every once in a while, with a new release, oh look at this ribbon badge! If the Pokemon V this card is attached to is Sylveon in its name and is knocked. specific. Um, yeah, so the card place I normally get my cards from, and I got this booster pack from, every once in a while, they will have their delivery early, and I'll get stuff, like, a day earlier. <laughs> Which is the great thing about, you know, getting from a local place, is like, you can, like, form a relationship with them, so there have been times that, uh, they've given me I get, I get people's gifts from this place too, right? Zinnia's Resolve, Rock and Rolla, but uh, I did not have that luck with this. Um, today, the day I'm filming this is the day this set was released, and uh, literally, when I went to pick it up, they had just gotten their delivery of the boxes in, so I don't know. Flippy Bay, we've got that beautiful swamp. We've got a uh, Lit Leo Lion card, basically. Jinju, see, we're getting to like the doubles part now. We've got this Marie Perverse Hollow. That's pretty cute. Whoa, we've got a holographic Reggie Linky. That's, that is really neat. I don't like. 
like a whole bunch of different ones with like different typing and stuff like that. I don't get super super into them. Some people love them. Um, but this is still a really cool card. You know, I love a, a gorgeous hollow with the art. Hey, look, I'm happy with that. That's pretty neat. lines like look at that how do you not like that that just like ignites like the inner child in me that like I feel like that's a little closer to what holographic cards looked like when I was a kid so that's look <laughs> I'm happy with that I'm probably just gonna keep saying that as we do these last couple pulls because I feel extraordinarily satisfied by what we've, what we've done today. Um, even though so far, like, none of the, like, um, the evolution ones that I was talking about, I also wasn't really expecting to pull any of these special VMAX cards either. Um, especially that Rayquaza, like, that's a lot of we do. We've got a talent flame. We've got an energy. Did I put these in the wrong order? I may have. I may have miscounted because normally the energy cards at the front here. We've got an Ursa ring. We've got a crystal. We've got a rescue cave. like waving. He's like, good, goodbye. We've got a Pikachu card, a C dots, a Lillipop. Oh, that's nice. We got a Reverse Hollow, Zinnia's Resolve. That's quite cute. Zinnia is our I miscounted or something because usually this one would be at the back, right? Yeah, you may have like watched me do that and, and saw it happen in live action like, oh, ALB, you miscounted. So now we are going to do our final pack. Let me move these precious cuties over just slightly. There we are. Everybody see? supposed to be the first one you get, so we've got energy card, we've got a boost shake card, we've got a Rombi. Rombi is so cute. I really love the art. It's in like this gorgeous park. You can see a little park bench and street lamp, and then there's like Aim a look, a fee bass. Look at him. He's trying so hard. Hippot <laughs> Hippopotas. Hippopotas are like the pain of my pack opening, I think. I think I've got more hippopotas than anything. A lillipop, a nickets, bergmites. We've got a reverse 
which is <laughs> look, it's cute it's just not my favorite but it's cute gorgeous, stunning like absolutely out of this world beautiful an angel on this earth leave you on VMAX love, 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 love Cordy is 